it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. This is kind of like just an everyday basic get ready with me video. This is definitely how I do my makeup if I'm going to work, just having like a casual day when I'm just filming content for Instagram, so taking photos. This is kind of what I do and I wanted to just kind of get ready with you guys, chat a little bit. Talk about Christmas, Vlogmas, Netflix, all that stuff. We just had a little chit chat. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how I get this beautiful, sleek, and super straight, shiny hair using my Irresistible Me Black Diamond Hair Straightener. I will have all the products mentioned in today's video listed down below in the description box. And without further ado, if you're getting ready, let's get ready together. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I do for like quick makeup. Um, quick because sometimes I take my time but this is more of like an everyday kind of look so I'm going to start off with my hard candy hydrating primer I already moisturized and it's literally the same process every single time so I'm just going to apply this primer to my skin I've just been trying to do my makeup quicker lately because I feel like it takes me forever to get ready and I like to just like enjoy the process but like on those days when I have to like hurry up and get ready I'm like oh my god I'm like rushing around like okay so for foundation what I've been using lately is the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation this is in the shade 118 light beige this is kind of my color um it's not the best match but it will do for the time being I need to find a good foundation um, my skin, as you guys can probably see, isn't the worst today. Today's been a good day after many weeks of not such good looking skin, but that's kind of the process with hormonal acne is it's up and down all the time and it's just kind of what we have to deal with. I know I always talk about this briefly on my channel. I feel like whenever I do get ready with me, I'm always talking about my skin because a lot of you guys do ask me questions about that. Um, I'm going to take a Morphe M5, no, an M406 brush, and I'm going to blend this out. I actually have to clean my brushes today, but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of questions about my hormonal acne and what I use and what's my skincare routine. For me, I found, again, everyone's skin is different, but I have found that using less on my face is more for me because the more I dabble into other products or things that people have recommended to me to try, I have broken out even more and it makes my skin actually very irritated. So right now I stick to basic products. I use the CeraVe moisturizing lotion and, not lotion, cleanser. I have the foaming one and I actually like that one better. I feel like it's a deeper clean and I just picked that up the other day. And then I also use the, um, I think it's Thatcher's, if that's what it's called, Thayer's, not Thatcher's, Thayer's um, toner to tone my skin um, after I'm done washing it, and that's basically all I do. I'll occasionally do a face mask on a Sunday, which today is Sunday, so I'm probably going to end up doing that later on today. I'm going to take my beauty blender. I got this. It's not even a beauty blender, a beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it. I got this in my BoxyCharm like last month, I believe, and I love this beauty blender set. I like to go over my foundation a little bit because sometimes you do get those like brush strokes. Hormonal acne is very like cystic acne, so it hurts. The, the pimples actually hurt my face. Um, so... Today is not a bad day. Alright, so moving on to concealer. What I like to use is the Tarte Shape Tape. I like a full coverage concealer because we got to cover these bags under my eyes. So I'm just going to take some concealer. I'm going to use the Little Baby Beauty Blender sponge. Same as this. It's not a beauty blender, but you guys know what I mean. And I'm going to take this and just blend out the concealer. I'm really loving these tiny beauty blenders because they just really help get right up under the eye for concealer and I think it just blends out things so much better because it's like a lot smaller, it can get into all the little areas that you need to. I'll try to link everything that I use in today's Get Ready With Me down below um, because I know you guys always are asking questions and I usually try to update that description box. Um, I know I get questions about like what I'm wearing, 
My t-shirt is from Target. I love it so much. I was actually featured on Target's like page and that was so cool. I was like, oh my gosh, actually one of you sent it to me and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know that I was on there. So thank you. I forgot who sent it to me, but thank you for letting me know. Moving on to powder. So I've recently just been noticing that I don't like to wear a lot of powder on my skin because it just makes my makeup feel super heavy. My nose is itching, I don't know why. The powder that I've been obsessed with is the Givenchy Prism Libre um, Satin Blanc in the shade two. But it's this four colored like prism powder, so when you put it on the little applique, it's like four different colors. I've used this little puffer a lot. So I like to use this to set because this does have a little bit of reflex of, I don't want to say glitter, but there is a little bit of glitter in this. But it's so finely milled, it's supposed to like help brighten up the areas and give you kind of like a luminous effect. And I find that I really like that type of powder underneath my eyelids because it just gets really dry for me. So I like to just add that underneath and it gives a really nice luminous effect what's ever left in the cap and i'm going to put it on my little puffer and i just pat this all into my skin to set the rest of my face and i'm not picking up any more product i'm just taking whatever's left inside of the lid okay so now we're going to move on to eyes so for eyes i do something really simple every day um, I basically don't really want to wear too much eyeshadow, so I will just take some of my Hoola bronzer on a Morphe M504 brush, and I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm just going to place this very, like, kind of effortlessly into the crease, and then I'll just, like, buff it all out a little bit onto the lid. I just want to give myself a little bit of dimension. I don't want to put too much on. It's just kind of for like a quick, natural look. As for other eyeshadows, I've been using the Natasha Denona palette in Peak. This is five eyeshadow palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm. Take this light shade up here. It's just like a basic cream matte shade. And I'm going to place that all over my lid just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe brush and just go over that so that there's no harsh lines. So my brother's watching football, so if you hear any yelling in the background, that's definitely him. My mic always picks up so much background noise. Now I'm gonna wipe away all this setting powder under my eyes, and I like to kind of stipple it in and then sweep it away. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I know Vlogmas is starting, and I can't promise any Vlogmas because it gets really um, overwhelming for me during the holiday season to post that much. I do have a full-time job um, besides YouTube. And um, so it is harder for me to consecutively post on Vlogmas like every day. Um, but I'm going to try to upload as frequently as I can um, during the month of December. So hopefully this video is in the early stages of vlogmas so i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows i'm using the anastasia brow wiz in dark brown and i'm just gonna lightly fill them in um because i don't want them to be too dark i have been watching so much netflix lately this is the thing i love watching netflix but whenever i get hooked onto something i spend way too much time binge watching TV shows and then I'm very unproductive the rest of like the weekends and I try not to do that so this past week I have been binging The Crown on Netflix which if you guys don't know what that is it's basically about Queen Elizabeth and I'm obsessed with the show I think it is so good the actors everything in it is just it's honestly such a good show and I've learned so much about the Royals and I think it's just really really interesting and I just got on to season four so this is when they start talking about Princess Diana and I'm like literally obsessed. But when I was in college I became like a really big history like geek and I loved Western civilization and all of that stuff like love learning about the Roman Empire and I've always found it a little bit more interesting than US history to learn about other countries history and I am so intrigued by the Royals, so that show just really like kind of like ignited 
a new passion for me. So I, now I want to like read any book I can about them, watch any documentary I can about the royals. It's just very, very interesting to me. So if you haven't watched it on Netflix, I definitely recommend it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this L'Oreal Coal Liner in. It's their long wear eye pencil in black. And I'm just going to run this on my tight line. I'm going to take this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Voluminous Mascara, which is my favorite mascara. And I'm going to apply this to my lashes. I went ahead and put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now we're going to move on to the face. I'm so going to take my Hoola bronzer and I'm going to contour and just kind of like bronze up the skin essentially. So if you guys have any other recommendations of shows or anything that's revolving like the royal family to watch definitely let me know because i'm obsessed now and i just can't stop watching i did watch the princess switch on netflix i watched the first one when it first came out because not only do i love vanessa hudgens but i also love the guy that plays the prince i forgot what his name is um sam padillo or some padillo or something i can't don't know how to say his last name. I know his name's Sam, but I know him as Gunner from Nashville, the show. If you guys have never seen Nashville, it was on ABC a few years ago. Really, really good show. He's in there. So I was already hooked when I saw that he was on there. I'm like, oh, I love him on um, that show. So I was like, I have to watch. I watched The Princess Switch. The first one is definitely way better than the um, second one because the second one's kind of like... They have Vanessa Hudgens playing three characters, and I'm like, this is a little much, but just went with it. For blush, I'm going to take this beautiful blush and tea rose from Milani, and I'm going to tap off the access and just place this on my cheeks. I like to apply my blush a little bit higher just because it kind of helps give more of that slimming effect. Usually I will add a little bit of highlight, but today I think we're gonna not do any highlight, which is a change for me, but some days I just don't feel like adding highlight to my skin. Okay, so for our lips, I'm going to use my NYX Lip Liner in Peekaboo Neutral. And I like slightly overline my lips, nothing too crazy. I'm going to take my newest like obsession. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Keep It Fun. And it's like a very beautiful like mauve pink. I love this color. I'm going to use this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Ice. Is this ice? Yes. Just the clear one. And do that. Love, love, love. Okay, so now that I finished with all my makeup, I'm gonna use a setting spray, and I like to use this Revolution Conceal and Define 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray. And I go in on the setting spray because I like to give my skin like some rehydration after all the powder that's gone on it. That is the makeup, just like a quick everyday little glam moment and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to my hair so we're gonna style this mess that is my hair so, so to do this hair today I'm gonna be using my resistible me black diamond hair straightener and this hair straightener is so amazing for many reasons one it has like that technology that's gonna give you that silky shiny hair that we love also uses infrared technology to give you healthier hair so I know in styling it can sometimes be damaging but with Irresistible Me hair products like this straightener, it really does a good job of protecting your hair. So this has an adjustable temperature of 190 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which I love because you guys know my hair is a little bit coarse, it's a little bit thicker, so sometimes I need a little bit more heat to style it. As the little digital display, you can turn it up or lower here, the power on heats up so so fast which I love I love the black and rose gold it's super pretty it's very sleek so I love love this straightener so if you guys are in the market for a hair straightener definitely check out this one from irresistible me I use it on my hair extensions from them I love irresistible me products I will leave all the information down below in the description box as well let's as go ahead and start with heat protectant this is the Tresemme keratin smooth heat 
protectant. I'm gonna spray that all over my hair. You wanna always protect your hair when using heat styling tools. Then I'm gonna take my wet brush and just brush all of that out so that it's all blended well evenly throughout my hair. Okay, so now that we've brushed through our hair, I'm gonna go ahead and section it. So I'm gonna take the top from right above my ears and put this all up into a little ponytail. So what I like about this strainer is that it really doesn't take much time for me. Like I don't have to go over it a million times. And I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Like look at how shiny and like soft my hair is compared to this piece that isn't like oh, gorgeous. And I like it because I don't have to go over it a million times. I've, I have a straightener right now that just does not straighten as good as this one. And this just gets the job done so easily for me. Like I can go through my hair really, really quick. And for me, that's really important when I have a heat styling tool, so I love that. Now this works really well if you want to curl your hair as well. I know a lot of people like to curl their hair with straighteners. I have recently got into that and I love that too. And this does the job perfectly. Like, I like to take my hair in sections with everything that I do because my hair is thicker. And I also wanna just make sure that I get it the sleekest, straightest I can possibly get it. Go ahead and finish the rest of my head. So I'm gonna speed this through and get this hair done. And that is just as simple as it is to get sleek, straight hair. So that is going to complete my little chatty get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. In the comments below, let me know what type of videos you guys would like to see on my channel for this holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Remember to never stop dreaming. Bye!